Hey guys, Guy Level here, and today I'm gonna show you how to have a circular webcam in OBS Studio. All right, if you watch my live streams, you will note that I have a circular webcam with a circular overlay. And a lot of people have been asking me, how do you get this? I know that some types of consoles have this feature enabled, but not on PC. So how do you get a circular webcam on PC? That's what we're gonna figure out today, okay? Let's open up OBS first of all, and I'm gonna try to explain the, the whole principle of um, getting different shapes for a webcam. It's not only circular or rectangular or squares. You can actually have your webcam shape, whatever you want it to be <laughs> shaped. So um, right here we have OBS and I'm gonna add my webcam, which should be video capture device. I think I have a specific um, webcam setup, which is my SparkleSoft. It's basically a program that transforms your DSLR camera into a webcam. Now I can look here and I can look here. <laughs> So okay, let's say this is my um, my webcam. For you, it will look different because you're probably not using SparkleSoft, you're just using a webcam, but whatever. Let's say this is my webcam and I would like to have a circular um, shape around it, like a circular border or whatever. Let's go, just go to filter. So you're gonna right click on your video capture device, your, in, in this case, your webcam. And this doesn't only work for webcams, it actually works with a lot of other, like every other layer that you can possibly have in OBS. You can actually uh, add the same exact filter. And right now we're gonna add something called a mask. Where is it? Uh, image mask. Okay, so what an image mask is, it's basically an image, it's a picture file that has values of black or white to, to define what will be shown and what won't be shown, okay? So if you use Photoshop, you're probably familiar with this, but if not, I'm gonna try my best to explain it. So in your image, you will have, it, only ha it has to be um, grayscale, basically it has to be monotone, black and white only. Everything that is white will show and everything that is black will hide, will be hidden, will be transparent. And everything in between will give you like the percentage of opacity. Basically black and white will control the opacity. Um, if I want a circular um, webcam overlay, basically I will have an image that is full black with a white circle in the middle because white shows, so only the circle, what's within the circle will show and um, and everything outside will be transparent. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Um, so let's go ahead and create an image real quick. I'm gonna go in Photoshop, Control N. Um, my resolution is 1080p, so it's 1920 by 1080. Okay, uh, this is not a Photoshop tutorial. I'm just gonna do this real quick. Boom, I have this thing, it's completely dark and I pass the ellipse tool and I'm gonna create a perfect circle by holding shift well, this is not a Photoshop tutorial and I'm still telling you exactly what to press and I'm gonna center it I know it doesn't look like it's anywhere but it is here I guarantee that and boom so here we have this file and I'm going to save it as a PNG you can save it as a JPEG I'm guessing you can save it as a JPEG uh, let's go to pictures and uh, let's just put it in emotes just so I can find it quickly. Uh, round. Of course you decide what you want to call it. <laughs> and now, okay, so now I have a PNG which is the exact aspect weight ratio of my um, my screen in OBS. So I'm going to go here. It's, not, it's actually not the exact same aspect ratio as my webcam, but it's something, if you create your own circular image, you can actually play around with it. Most webcams are um, 720p or 1080p, so this image will fit. And if you don't have Photoshop and you can't create your own pictures, honestly, you can do it in, even in, in Paint, Microsoft Paint. But I will provide you um, this exact image. I will upload it and put it in the, uh, in the description. So let's go to filters. And under effect filters, choose mask, just click OK, and then alpha mask is selected. Let's go browse, let's go to pictures, emotes, and we have this thing. And something is wrong. 
Oh, it's because of the aspect ratio. Okay, if the aspect ratio is right, you wouldn't have this problem. But since my image is actually not um, 19 by 9, it's not 1080p, um, it will give me those weird little things. So what I can do is basically crop them like so. So you're holding Alt, by the way, to crop stuff in OBS. And there you go. And here we have a circular image. The cool thing with that is that it's pretty original. Not a lot of people have circular webcams in OBS. Um, if you really want to um, focus on your face so people can mostly see your expression, this is mostly why people have webcams. Because your audience wants to see your facial expressions when you're reacting to stuff in real time. Um, you can also add a new genre of overlays, of webcam overlays, which is the circular overlays. Um, I don't have any available in my store, uh, in my store right now, but maybe that's something you would like to see. Just leave a comment if you if you would like to have those. I can make a couple and just put them in the store for either for free or for very cheap. Um, and I do have my actually no, I'm gonna go with media, media source, and I'm going to try to find my own overlay. Just video commissions. Emily in mine, uh, Gal Export, Cam Advanced 4, and this is a video file. So the cool thing with that is that I can just go here and do it just a little. What? Oh, I know why. I'm dumb. It's supposed to be on a loop. It just plays and then stops. There we go. <laughs> okay, anyways, this is how you get a circular webcam. The cool thing is that if you have like um, nuances, if you have shades of gray, it will actually like make them kind of transparent. So the, the more white it is, the, the more visible, it's basically the opacity. Um, I'm going to have this exact file um, available on the interwebs in the description and um, let me know if you would like to see like some some overlays or how to make overlays or anything like that. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section as well. Uh, please visit my Gumroad page, gumroad.com slash level. You can find some very cheap or even free overlays over there. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you next time. Said it twice. Oh my God. level out.